Hello future criminologist and criminologist. For today's session, we will be having Republic Act 9344. Now, this Republic Act 9344 was signed into law by uh, President Gloria Mahapagal Arroyo and it is entitled as the Juvenile Justice and Welfare Act of 2006. Okay, this Juvenile Justice and Welfare Act of 2006 is an act establishing the comprehensive juvenile justice and welfare system. Therefore, creating the Juvenile Justice and Welfare Council under the Department of Justice. See that the uh, state shall be protecting the rights of the child every uh, as a part of nation building. They shall promote also the welfare and physical, moral, and uh, spiritual, uh, even intellectual aspect and social being of this children. The state shall protect the best interest of the child also. Okay, so anything that will be uh, done by the uh, state, they shall consider the best interest of the... And, and likewise, that this state shall recognize the rights of the children. So in this law, it includes the rights of all the children. What are the things that are given or bestowed to them by our law? And pursuant to section uh, 40 of our uh, United Convention for the Rights of Children, This, wa this law was uh, promulgated. So, the administration of the juvenile justice and welfare system shall take into consideration principles relating to restorative justice here in our country. So, Republic Act 9344 is our topic for today. Now, let us first discuss what do you mean by court. On the definition of terms on this law, it first defines what is court so what is court then it refers to the family court okay so any cases that uh, talks about children's or uh, violence against children okay will be under the jurisdiction of our court on what court specifically is this it is our family court in any cases where there will be no family court the regional trial court will take in charge now remember also republic act 92 69. This Republic, to, uh, Republic Act 9269 is the uh, Family Courts Act of 1997. So they, re they take cognizance, they take jurisdiction in cases involving one or more of the accused people who is below 18 but not less than 9 years old. Specifically, why does not, in, why does not it include 9 years old and below? Because this 9 years old and below are of, of course exempted from liabilities in civil and in both criminal now petition for guardianship are likewise under the jurisdiction of this family court adoption things are likewise the jurisdiction of this family court petition for the support and acknowledgement of children are likewise in the jurisdiction of this family court and violence against women and children another term that we should Remember here is the best interest of the child. Well, best interest of the child is defined by this law as the totality of all circumstances or conditions which, which is most congenial to the survival, protection, and feelings of security of the child and most encouraging okay, to the child's physical, psychological, and emotional development. And at least The least detrimental available alternative for safeguarding the growth and development of the child. Thus, when you speak of best interest of the child, anything that is to be performed by the state, okay, in, uh, in all agencies of the state, wherein it includes the children's best option in surviving, protecting their feelings, to include their physical, psychological, emotional development okay, as part of the function of the state which is to look for the best interest of these children. Another thing that is included in the framework of this law is the restorative justice. Now, the restorative justice talks about being able to reintroduce a child in a place where it, it is better for him, where it will be beneficial to the best interest of the child or to the best interest of these children. 
One thing is this one. Okay? For Republic Act 9344, it covers all children who are considered as the child in conflict with the law or the child at risk. Now, what's the difference between this child at risk and then this uh, child at risk and then this CICL? This CICL is referred to as the child in conflict with the law. Now, this child in conflict with the law are the children who are, who are alleged or alleged, okay, accused of or a judge or a judge of having committed an offense. Any children who, who are yet Okay, or who is to be yan, filed with a case okay, or who has uh, been accused of okay, of doing something wrong within the community or any person below 18 years of age which is accused of doing any crimes or in our case, any kinds of delinquencies. Okay? The child at risk, on the other hand, are children who are vulnerable. Vulnerable meaning to say they are uh, weak. Okay, that means they are weak and they are at the risk of committing crimes or criminal offenses. Okay, because of personal or family or social circumstances, they have the possibility, they have the chances of committing wrong, uh, committing. They have the chances of com committing criminal offenses or doing any kinds of delinquencies and so therefore child in conflict with the law and child at risk are the persons that is covered by this republic act 9344 so topic will be the age of criminal responsibility the age of criminal the age of criminal responsibility was discussed by our law at uh, law at section 6 okay of republic act 9344 regarding the minimum age of criminal responsibility on the previous uh, discussions that we had, we had, the, we had discussed the age of criminal responsibility. So the age of criminal responsibility that we, has agreed, we had agreed before is that these are children who are above 15 years old but below 18 years of age who acted with discernment. Again, when we speak of discernment, these are the this is the capacity to know what is right from wrong. Meaning to say that any person who has able to identify what is wrong and what is right when it comes to the things that they have performed they may be criminally responsible okay and then this was increased from about nine years old above to 15 years old now it says there in section 6 particularly 15 years of age under at the time of the com commission of an offense or delinquency shall be exempted of criminal liability so, 15 years old and below are exempted from criminal liability. Now, it, let us first highlight that they are only exempted on criminal liabilities and not in civil liabilities nor uh, administrative cases if they are available. Now, the child, however, okay, shall be subjected to intervention, which we will be discussing on the next sessions so, intervention program pursuant to this republic act 9344 of section 20 now child or children above 15 years old but below 18 years of age shall likewise be exempted from criminal liability and to be subjected to an intervention unless he acted with discernment so, in which case, such child shall be subjected to appropriate proceedings in, accord in accordance with Republic Act 9344. And the exemptions from criminal liability herein established by does not include exemptions from civil liability, which shall be enforced in accordance with the existing laws. And the criminal responsibility starts only the time the child is 15 years old and above and acted with discernment. And then, 15 years old and below, if they acted without discernment, they are exempted from criminal liabilities. Likewise, to children below 15 years of age, they are exempted from criminal liability. Okay. The first thing is now, they ask for the discernment. 
So what is discernment again? It is the capacity of this CICL, of this youth, or of these children to understand what is the difference between what is correct or right from wrong or incorrect. And they are able to know, of course, the consequences of these actions. Okay? Determination or discernment relates to the moral significance that the person attached to the act. Whether or not does this person really know the consequences of his actions before he is performing this act or actions or kinds of behavior. Now, the question is, how do we determine discernment? How do we determine discernment now is to take consider all the facts and circumstances and records of each cases such as first appearance. Of course, the general appearance of the person will be taken consideration. You, we ourselves can be able to identify whether this child was well whether this child is above 15 below 18 or more than 18 years of age. Okay, the way how do they uh, behave or the attitude and then the comportment of the CICL is one of the method. Before, during, and after the commission of crime, they can also be uh, observed for us to be able to determine the discernment. And, of course, during trial. <coughs> now, <coughs> remember that the assessment of the discernment is to be preliminary assessed by the DSWD. As police officers, we are to... Uh, we are to identify the age, but how? Okay, so the preliminary assessment shall be conducted by the LSWDO or the social welfare, a local social welfare and development as a part of their initial investigation. Who declares or who has the final assessment on uh, whether or not the child is acting with or without discernment? It will be the, the court. So for preliminary assessment, if is the local social welfare development and it will be the uh, court who says the final assessment whether or not the child acted with or without discernment. One question on the PowerPoint of Mr. Ranulfo Bayago, it says here, what if the Mario after raping Maria said to her that do not ever tell this to other people unless if you do this again, I can repeat my actions the same and over and over again. Okay? Or I will rape you 100 times. Okay? Going back to the definition of discernment, being able to know what is right from wrong, okay? On this, okay? Inferring from these words of Mario, we are able to identify that he know the, he knows the consequences of his actions. And so therefore, he acted with discernment. Okay. What should be done in case of doubt as to the age of the child? Let's say, for example, the police officer is trying to arrest the person, and now he has having he is having a doubt whether or not is this a minor or is not a minor. So we can be able to identify this if we have uh, we have doubts on the age of the children, just like any other criminal. Okay. Criminals are said to be innocent until proven guilty. So, likewise, children shall be okay, considered minor unless proven, proven otherwise. In short, we resolve this in his favor or favor favorable to the minor. In case of doubt, okay, that the person is telling you he is minor, however, his face does not say so so resolve this on his favor okay how is then age de be determined because your uh, your thing here is to identify the age first of the child before we are able to say that he is acting with or without discernment or he can he be qualified for uh, required to answer for the commission of the offense is to identify first his age. Now, on the determination of age, the presumption of minority, okay, is always there. Has it all? It has all the uh, uh, the sides or all of the favorable sides shall be on the child. 
the child has the right okay, to become a minor unless proven otherwise. That's the first rule. Second thing is to be able to identify or determine the age. Yan. It should be the uh, birth certificate or baptismal certificate. So remember first, he shall enjoy all the rights unless he has been proven guilty. Now, in other cases, the age may be determined by the uh, use of birth certificate, okay. baptismal certificate, other or other pertinent documents, such as the school documents or others. Okay. If there are the, uh, in the absence, information from the child can be accepted. So, if we cannot be able to find birth certificate or any papers supporting his age of minority or majority, we can ask the child on his on his behalf. Or the physical appearance comes next. Testimonies from other persons and other relevant evidences. That's provided for by Section 7 of Republic Act 89344. What if there are cases already that has been filed? Okay, in the court, if there are cases that has been filed in the court already, the child in conflict with the law and it is already pending in the appropriate court, okay, the person shall file a motion to determine the age of the child on the same court which has jurisdiction where the case is pending, okay, pending hearing on the said motion. It's still that we should remember for 9344. Okay. For 9344 children exactly 15 years old, for this day he become 15 or and below are and, uh, and below are exempted from criminal liability. Remember from criminal liability only. You have still civil and you have admin if probable, if possible. Including these children uh, 15 years old and below who acted without discernment and children who committed status offenses are all exempted from criminal liabilities. Example again of criminal uh, example, example of status offenses is vagrancy, prostitution, violation of uh, uh, curfew ordinances, or sniffing rugby's. Okay, for the next session, we will be discussing the uh, Rules on the juvenile in conflict with the law from the time we take our, uh, take the uh, children as part of initial contact or taking the CICL as part of uh, uh, taking custody of these children until the time he served his sentence.